Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. From Miami. <laughs> Just kidding. We had enough of the fun in the sun, you guys. We wanted some winter vibes. Because it's Christmas time. Mm -hmm. So we ended up just heading back home to Missouri and just hanging out with some of our family. We had Thanksgiving with everyone. Yeah. Didn't film for a while, which was great. And then we decided to take ourselves a little trip out to the east, over to North Carolina, which we've been to the state, yeah. but it's been a long time. And we found this adorable little cabin behind us, right outside of this little town called Boone. We have a super fun and delicious day planned. We're gonna explore the area, eat some local food, and some just really delicious food. Try not to freeze our asses oh off. Oh my God, we got our biggest <laughs> jackets we could find, our we sweaters. Did. It's freezing out here. We're Woo! gonna go crank, crank the heat up in the uh, the white stallion over here. Oh yep. geez. <laughs> She's back. And then we're off. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> For our first stop of the day, we came to a little place called Stick Boy, or I think the locals refer to it maybe as the kitchen. It's Stick Boy Kitchen. It's a bakery and they make all these amazing fresh breads, pastries, bagels. So when you're in North Carolina, you can't come here and not get a biscuit. So we thought we'd start the day the Southern way with deep fried chicken on a biscuit. Well, Eric kind of destroyed it when he was holding it for yeah. a photo. It so. looks so pretty. It still looks pretty though. <laughs> so it's got uh, garlic aioli in there and house made pickles. So everything is made in house. The aioli, I think they do their own pickles, the biscuit itself, of course. And then I wanted to try one of their bagels because they make them fresh daily and like boil them and do it all. I got, I think it's called the grenade. There's bacon, eggs, sriracha, jalapeno, cream cheese, and this is a jalapeno bagel. Oh, and some spinach, keeping it a little healthy, right? But if you come to Boone, you will likely see Stick Boy on a lot of the restaurant menus. I think they, provide a lot of the restaurants with their fresh bread for the day. Look at this biscuit, you guys. It looks so fresh and delicious and buttery. I just picked it up one time earlier and already destroyed it, so it's really hard to eat. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go in quick before the whole thing falls apart. Mm. Oh man, that chicken. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it feels so good to be back in the South, you guys. Their fried chicken down here is so delicious. While the biscuit is super fluffy and buttery, it's kind of uh, toasted on the inside there, so it's a little bit crunchy. And, oh my god, the chicken. You glide right through it. It's so juicy, so flavorful. It's got a little bit of pepper, or actually, I think, now that, man, I'm destroying this thing, but. Look what I did to the sandwich, you guys. The, the biscuit is just so soft <laughs> that There's it falls right apart. literally none of it left. There you go, have fun. Thanks, thanks a lot. This little pickle guy up there. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. It's just such a perfect combination. The tang of the pickle, the garlic aioli, oh, I didn't get any of the tang. pickle. Oh, they're really good. And then the fried chicken is perfect. It's so juicy but crisp, and the biscuit is perfectly like moist and crumbly. This is a breakfast my grandma would approve of. But we can't forget about our little bagel guy over here. Luckily, this one's cut in half, so you can see it's all juicy. I got my egg over medium. Mm. Okay. We're kind of failing on the uh, etiquette today. <laughs> I get why they call it the grenade. It is spicy. Oh my word. With the sriracha, the jalapenos, and the cream cheese, and in the bagel. But it is super tasty. This bagel, so good. So like tender and fluffy and kind of chewy. If I came back here, I'd probably just try a bunch of the, the bagels on their own and the baked goods. They had some cinnamon rolls up there, y'all, that looked amazing. Are you saying we should try a cinnamon roll? <laughs> I would, except we have a very delicious sweet treat that I want to try at another stop. So we'll save that for another day. The Stick Boy Bakery actually just started as a bakery. People were upset because they couldn't stay and enjoy their baked goods. They had to get it to go. So I guess they complained enough that in 2013, they opened the kitchen here so that you can have sandwiches, you can have all day breakfast. Now you can just stay and enjoy and eat in. Holy cow, it's cold out here. <laughs> I'm not getting used to it. It's in the 20s, which is what negative two, negative something in Celsius. Yeah. This is where you gotta go from indoors, then to your car as quick as possible, spend as little possible time outside. <laughs> We 
need to work up an appetite before we head over to our next spot. So we figured we would come to the historic Blowing Rock, which we'll tell you about in just a second. But we also figured that this is a good time to tell you about our sponsor for today's video. And oh, it's life proof, baby. Why'd you do that? <laughs> That's right. As an early Christmas present, we upgraded our phones and got the new iPhone 11. Oh yeah. So we figure we gotta protect this little guy. This one here is the slam case. And as Allison demonstrated earlier, it is drop proof. And this new version is the slimmest that they've ever made it. So that means that it's not gonna be super bulky around your phone. Also, in my defense, the case is called the slam. So I had to put it to the test, right? This one was my favorite, the orange and blue. You will never lose this in a crowd. Next up is the next case. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> this is for people who are clumsy and outdoorsy, a little bit like us. This one is drop proof. It is dirt proof. It is even snow proof. Like the other cases, it also comes in a bunch of different colors as well. And last but certainly not least is the flip case. This is actually our favorite case and the one that we've been using most often. We actually don't carry wallets. We opt to put the cards in our phone. And this case actually has two little card slots right there. So you can stuff your cards in there and not have to worry about carrying a wallet or carrying a purse or carrying anything really. It's all right there. And it magnetizes shut, mm -hmm. so it won't swing open. Life Proof gave us a special discount just discount. for you guys. It is 20% off and you can use that just by using the code ENDLESS20. We'll have that on the screen and we will also have the details of that in the description below as usual. So use the discount and make your phone Life Proof. And Wife Proof. This is over. <laughs> you went right onto the ground, didn't it? Life proof, gotcha. So this is the blowing rock. And y'all, you can actually climb on this thing. They say, do it at your own risk. Never in the States do they let you climb on cool old stuff. Let's go climb on it. <laughs> All right. It's actually kind of scary because it's just a straight drop over there. Should I go all the way? Yeah. I'm scared. Go for it. Don't fall. I'll just sit on down now at <laughs> this point. It's pretty scary when you get up here. I mean, look at, look at that drop. It's a little scary, but I think we're going to try to get an epic photo. Because if you do it right, it looks like you're sitting on the edge of the world. Yeah. How's life on the edge, baby? It's actually really scary. <laughs> but totally worth coming here. You actually have to pay $6 to enter this area and actually Seven. sit on the rock. $7. But nobody else is here. We got the rock all to ourselves. It's an excellent photo spot. The views are incredible. Also, this is supposedly the oldest tourist attraction in all of North Carolina. Fun fact, I would say the rock itself is pretty underwhelming, but the views are pretty spectacular. All right, but I'm freezing and I'm hungry again. Let's go eat and warm up. Oh, look at kitty cat. Holy cow. <laughs> it's like a little lion bear cat. <laughs> That's right, guys. We got donuts! That's the best way to warm up on a cold, freezing day. Donuts and hot coffee. Yes. We decided we'd go to a more local spot, actually called Local Lion. It's this really cool cafe. It's got a really nice vibe. It's super warm on the inside. Everyone's just working. Some guys are playing Magic the Gathering over there, and I'm super jealous because, side note, I used to be really into Magic the Gathering. It's also roasting a bunch of beans back there. So when you walk in, you're just hit in the face with this delicious aroma of roasting beans. And it's really cool to just watch them do that. I love when they have it all exposed like that. But most importantly, we got some donuts, you guys. Starting from this side, we've got a maple glazed donut. The cashier up there said that this was her favorite. That's why we got this one. This one looked the best to me. This is chocolate espresso, which how can that be bad? This one is apple cider and sweet potato. Allison had her eye on this one. And apparently sweet potato is the vegetable of North Carolina. <laughs> She just told me this right before I said Apparently, I saw that sweet potatoes were on a lot of menus and looked it up, yeah. so I'm eating it in donut form. I don't know if that still counts, but. Sure, and it's healthy. I'm gonna try this espresso one first because it's the one I'm most excited about. First thing you notice is just how soft and fluffy these donuts are. They just feel amazing on the bottom. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the donut is delicious, I and mean, you can see just how perfectly cooked it is on the inside and it's got this perfect brown color. And the chocolate's great, 
It's not super espresso. I was hoping for it to have a really strong coffee flavor. It's not super coffee y. <laughs> Let's see if the sweet potato one tastes more like sweet potato than this tasted like espresso. This just sounded so wintry and perfect, and the apple cider. Mm. Whoa, that donut texture is amazing. It's so thick and really like yeasty tasting in there. It's actually not too sweet. The sweet potato is really subtle and so is the like little bit of cinnamon and apple you get from the apple cider. This is really pleasant. This pairs perfectly with the coffee, which by the way, is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. This town, it's a little town, but it's a college town, so they've got great coffee, I guess, to keep the students going. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love little mountain towns. So we have oh, one yeah, last one, one to try, the maple. Do you want to try it since you didn't love your first one? Nah, you go for it. Okay, there's so much icing on this. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I love oh how you God. react just the minute it gets in your mouth. That's a good sign. Is that the winner? Oh my God, it's so good. It's so sweet, but so amazing. Okay, Maple, you're the, you're the winner. I'm glad she recommended that oh to us. God. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> we came to downtown Boone. They actually have this charming little downtown area. I think it's with, on King Street. Yeah, and they have all sorts of little shops with little knickknacks and all kinds of really cool old stuff. We have a dinner spot that we're headed to, but uh, and it's also getting really cold out here. But if it was a nice warm day, we would spend some time just perusing all these shops because they are amazing. We also almost forgot to mention that Boone is named after Daniel Boone, which if you're not American, or maybe some Americans even, don't know exactly who that is but Daniel Boone was basically the first great American hero. He was an explorer and a pioneer. They say that he camped out in a place near here and they considered it within the city limits. So that was good enough to name the place after him. But if you wanna know more about Daniel Boone, his history is actually really interesting. Look him up. It's a little too much to say in this video, but well, also we have some food to eat. So let's get off the cold streets and go do that. For our final stop of the day, we came to this amazing little restaurant called Proper. It's in this house. We're actually out on the patio, but they've got a heater for us. Yes. So we're nice <laughs> and warm. Also, sorry about the camera. Our batteries keep dying because the cold, we forgot yeah. about so it. This so this one's not very good in low light and the battery is yeah. almost dead on this. So, so we're, we're trying gonna to move go fast. fast. So we were actually after this gonna go to a brewery called Boonshine, but because we don't have the battery, we instead just went ahead and got the beer here. So, Boonshine Tropic Ale. And it is delicious. It is so good. Thank but you, if you come here, maybe go to the brewery in addition to having dinner here. Our little first dish has arrived and this is actually what we're most excited to try believe it or not it is not a little fried christmas tree <laughs> it is actually fried green tomatoes with homemade pimento cheese in between and i think there's like some peach sauce drizzle some reduction but Fun fact, pimento cheese is actually from North Carolina. There are so many things from I North Carolina, no I can't believe it. Like the Texas Pete hot sauce. Which is funny, because it's called Texas Pete, it's called but Texas it's Pete. from a town in North Carolina. Yeah, Winston-Salem, actually. Hardee's is from here. Krispy Kreme donuts. Also Pepsi and a whole bunch of other stuff. So what is pimento cheese? Well, it's cheese, mayonnaise, and pimentos mixed together which doesn't necessarily sound that appetizing, but I used to eat it as a kid. Oh, oops, this guy's going down fast. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so good. I've actually I never mean, had fried green tomatoes. I'm excited to try it. They're so good. They're a little crisp, which is really nice. And the breading is great. That peach drizzle gives it a little sweetness. And the pimento cheese is just super savory and salty. It is deep fried kind of gourmet and heavenly, and I love it. Our food has arrived. I got some delicious chicken and waffles. That was a special for tonight. It just sounded so good. I know I had fried chicken, basically the same thing earlier, but I just can't get enough of it. When you're in the South, you gotta go all in for the fried chicken. Yeah. And I got my shrimp and grits. It looks amazing. Look at this. Oh my God, I think there's even bacon. And they are actually known for their collard greens. So camera number one officially died. Oops, this one's, <laughs> technically it says it has no battery left. So I'm gonna eat this real quick for you guys. Mmm, mmm. That is the most interesting shrimp and grits I've ever tried. It's got some cinnamon or nutmeg or something in there. It tastes 
like Christmassy shrimp and grits, which sounds terrible, but is absolutely amazing. And there's some delicious red sauce on top of there. Maybe it's like coconut? I don't know, but it is super savory and amazing. On to apparently the star of their sides, the collard greens. Yeah, he, we asked him what side we should get. He said collard greens. I mean, I don't know how good collard greens can get, but. I think this good. <laughs> <laughs> They're sweet and vinegary and they've got a little bit of a, almost like a grape leaf texture there. They're really nice. They're not yeah, super they wilted. They look like doma leaf. Yeah, you know, exactly. Leaves. Oh. Well, our camera survived. <laughs> We're going to probably put it away, demolish all this. By the way, I forgot to mention, I got macaroni on the side. This is a gluttonous day. I'm gonna have to, <laughs> cool. we're, we're doing a hike tomorrow and I'm gonna have to burn off a lot of these uh, calories. I yeah, think. I think that's gonna do it for us today here in Boone. Let us know if you've been to the area or to North Carolina in general, what we should try next time we're here. Otherwise, yes, devouring time. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>